All right, this is for the multi-point pinning for a cloth simulation. Uh, I've got a basic cube here, and I'm in 2.8 uh, as of October 17th, 2018. So it's not terribly stable, but it works for this. Um, I'm going to take my basic cube. I'm going to subdivide it. In tab, W, subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. So I've just got some basic mesh to distort. And uh, so I recenter my cursor, shift S, cursor to center, shift A, let's add a plane, uh, GX, I'll move it over here, then tab to edit mode, W, subdivide, W, subdivide, W, subdivide, subdivide it one more time. So that way it can act like a cloth. And um, let's turn on our widgets here, let's just move it up a little bit. What I'm trying to do is just make it close to these corners where I'm going to pin it. Uh, so next, let's go into edit mode on this cloth again. Edit mode, and I'll select this cloth, or this vertice, this vertice, this vertice, this vertice. And I'll go into the vertices over here and choose vertex groups plus, and then assign. So this way, this, these parts and these parts become my pinning points. All right. Then uh, we want to create some bones. So I'm going to hit Shift A, and then Armature, and then a single bone. And that bone is put inside of that cube, so I'm just going to lift it up. And move it over. And put it about right there, wherever I want the pivot points to be, or the pin points I want on the cloth. And I'm just doing this uh, to both the cube and the cloth to simulate that the cloth is on the cube. But you could do this without the cube and you can do this without the cloth. Uh, I'm going to go into edit mode on the bone and then shift E. It's important that you do it this way, and GY, move it over here, because if you duplicate the bone while you're in object mode, you'll just have two separate armatures. Now we've got one armature with two bones. Now before I go any further, I'm going to select the cube and then shift right click onto the bone, hit control P, and then choose armature to form with automatic weights. Then I'll do the same thing with the cloth. Select the cloth, shift right click, control P, and then armature to form with automatic weights. So now both the cube and the cloth, or at least this plane, because it's not a cloth yet, is connected to this bone system. Now let's turn on cloth simulation for the cloth, which could be our cape for our cube. Come over to physics, and then cloth, and then we'll turn up the quality to say 10, and uh, let's turn on down here collision and uh, turn the collision up to five, quality up to five, and turn on self collision as well. All right. Then let's select, select the, the cube and turn on collision so the cloth doesn't fall through the cube. And uh, so if we hit play, we should see that go down. Now the cloth is falling because we haven't told the cloth to use any pins. So come over to shape and choose pin group and then choose group. And that's what we called the vertex. If we select here, this is called group right there. So we want to make sure that's selected, not the bone one or bone two. And uh, let's come back over here and make sure that's the case. So if I hit deselect, see those vertices are now not selected. But if I hit select again with bone with group selected here, you can see they're selected. You can rename that in group. If that helps. Come back over to cloth simulation, tab into object mode, shape and choose um, pin group as our pin group. Um, now, if we hit play, you can see it's pinned to that, and it's hitting the cube. So that's good. Now what we can do is start posing these bones to show how the bones and the cloth and the cube are all connected together. So I can select the bones, and then go from object mode to pose mode. And I'll turn on auto keyframing, but not quite yet. Just select an in and out keyframe, so that way our animation starts and ends on the same frame. So with bones, both bones selected, I hit I and lock rod. So that way keyframes are set for both bones. Then I go to the end of the animation and do the same thing, I lock rod. And now with the auto keyframing button turned on, I'll just move my playhead around and then actually move the bone system around. And the cloth won't follow, but you can ignore that. So if I hit G, you'll see the bones are moving the cube. I'll come over here and hit G, 
and hit G, we'll grab, we'll move in this direction, come over here, hit G, and then G, and I can set keyframes in between, and I can also rotate, do some weird things like this, G, G. We're just trying to make the cube uh, do this bouncy thing back and forth. You can see the cloth is trying to attach to it right now, but it's going to have some trouble. So now let's select the, uh, go back to object mode first, select the cube or the plane, and let's come over to cache, free all the bakes, and then bake all the dynamics. So that way it bakes the simulation of the cloth. So the goal here is when we're trying to set up a pin to be in multiple points, is that we put the vertices for the pin group close to where we're going to put the bones that attach it to the model that we're attaching it to. So if I hit play now, you can see it's moving around. The cloth is moving with the bones at the two different points. It stretches it when need be and squishes it when need be as well. And we can adjust this after the fact. If I select the bones, go into pose mode and add more keyframes. So here, maybe I want to add keyframes here, G. The cloth won't follow until we re-bake the cache. And here, maybe I'll have them close together again, G. And go back to object mode, select the cloth. Let's shade this guy smooth. Object, shade smooth. And then free all bakes, and then bake all dynamics. Crumpling, uncrumpling, crumpling, lovely, lovely. So you can turn up the quality, turn up the resolution, maybe add a subdivision surface on this cloth. So if I come over here and add a subdivision surface after, at the bottom of the stack, after the cloth, then it doesn't calculate that in, it just smooths it up. You can turn this up as high as you want. But it runs really fast and it's pretty accurate, it works really well. And you could add as, um, conceivably, as many pinpoints and as many bones as you want, and it would follow that accurately, as well as adding things like wind and so forth. So this, this could be um, really, really powerful. I'm excited to play around with it.